Hey YouTube, what's good? It's Sky. Today I have the Cinder 450s. I'm excited, it took a while to get here. But basically the story of uh, the release date for these is I could not hit on Yeezy Supply. I couldn't get through, kept getting errors. I didn't hit on confirmed, it was a Q draw, Q drop. So my buddy had to hook me up. I gave him my info. Here they are. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just excited to get into this. I haven't looked at them yet, but got the standard 450 small box, easy 450 made by Adidas. You got the uh, uh, it's too bright. Easy 450 made by Adidas. We got that eight and a half size tag right there. Let's go ahead, open it up. You're met with that um, Made in Germany sticker. And there you go with the 450 cinders. I love it. I love it. It's such a good day. <laughs> Go. What a beautiful, beautiful 450. Beautiful 450. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you guys have been around my channel before, you'll know that I have all the other colors of the 450s too, so I needed these. I needed these. Alright, so just the only other thing that you get with these is a tag. My ring light's too bright, so it's gonna be hard to uh, to see this. I'm still getting used to uh, this setup, so it's not perfect yet. But you just got that eight and a half size tag on there. <clears throat> you get a little tag here that says, um, and plastic waste made with recycled materials, so I don't know if they're all, all the 450s are made with recycled materials, but these say that they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, these are definitely a bit different than the other 450s. Um, I don't know if it has the ortholite in there, but I think the, the sneakers, the Yeezys that are made with the um, like recyclable materials will have this, let me get it here, this little globe. And then it says Yeezy, and the size tag is like a sticker. On the other ones, it's it's like a flap that you flip underneath the the insole. But yeah, I think that that I feel like that's what that means because none of the other ones have that. And I also uh, not this one, not this one, the left one. On my bones, I noticed it also has that. It doesn't say ortholite or anything. Just says it just has a that little globe type thing. So and yeah, and then on on the right sneaker, it has it just has the tree foil. So so yeah, uh, my buddy was looking at this uh, picture of this. I don't know if he said this in his review, but he thought the um, the laces were a different color, which you know to your eye. They kind of do look like a dark forest green, which I truthfully don't think they are because, I don't know, I think it's just a mind, a, a mind trick, eye thing, I don't know, I don't know, because it's cinder, you know, it's like a charcoal-y type gray, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, let me know what you think of these, lots of people have been saying in reviews that if people have the dark slates, they don't necessarily need to pick these up. Um, but I've seen them side by side, and I have, I have mine, which I'll go grab. But this is like, this is gray. It's not black. It's to me that's completely different. Um, I still think my least favorite Fiat 450 is the uh, the resins because I just I don't have much that match up with that color very well. Um, so. I've been struggling to try and put a fit together. 
but I've been trying to break in my resins and my dark slates because my clad whites are like my most comfortable and probably my most my favorite colorway. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much I wear these. But I will grab the dark slates and we'll, we'll compare the color. So here we are with the um, the dark slates next to the cinders. So like seriously, in my opinion, these colors are super drastically different to me. Like just in my opinion. If, if you are thinking that you don't want these because you already have these, like, it's just, it's such a drastic difference, to me at least, because black is black, and gray is not black, <laughs> I guess if that makes any sense, so, so yeah. But I think if you really mess with gray outfits, or if you want to pop, pop of gray, on your outfit, like your black sweatpants, your black jeans, whatever you want to wear, like this, or the cloud whites. I highly recommend the cloud whites if you don't have them, just because I really love them. Um, but yeah, a little dirty. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about people who say if you have this, you don't need to pick these up. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these. If you feel like letting me know what you think of 450s, too. Because I know that uh, some people just don't like them. But I clearly do. <laughs> but yeah. As for sizing, which I say all the time, um, I go a full size up from my regular size, but I go up a half size from my easy size. So with that, 7.5. I wear in most Jordans, 8s I wear in 350s and 700s, and I get these in an 8.5, so half size up for my size 8. I have a little bit of toe room, but these run tight. They don't run small per se, they run tight, obviously because of that caging and the knit. So if you've never worn a pair of 450s, I just recommend, if you've never had a Yeezy, to go full size up from whatever size you usually get. Um, but that's just my opinion. Some people stick with their um, Yeezy size when they get these, which is fine. Everybody's got a different size foot. But if you generally have a larger foot, like wide, I would, um, I would full size up from whatever you get in any other sneaker besides Yeezy. If any of that makes sense, I hope it does. But let me know what you think. <laughs> just let me know what you think the silhouette. Take it or leave it. I love this silhouette. I don't wear it as much as some things, but this is like my grab and go type sneaker. But now, my 350 bones I've been wearing. I've been wearing like ever since I got them because I want to break them in and make them nice. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy the setup. I think this might, for right now, be what it is. Um, I know it's a mess. And I need to look at the camera. I got like a little screen cap thing here. But yeah, could potentially be straining today, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content from me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.